Oh, great. So nobody is shy about uh, being a bit childish, I think. Um, and so who likes it? Like, really likes it? Can anybody tell me why you like it? It's awesome. It's awesome. OK, yeah, it's awesome. Um, good morning, everybody. My name is Lubna, and I'm from Palestine. And today I'm going to tell you about a project I founded named Sharing, Sharing Stories. So Sharing Stories aims to encourage children to read more, and it uh, aims to improve English education and to broaden cultural understanding through exposing children in Palestine to English literature and making learning English uh, more fun. And basically the point of the project is to get you to donate books to children in Palestine. So. What does that have to do with Harry Potter? And I'm not advertising Harry Potter. I mean, I'm sure they have lots of, obviously they have lots of good advertisement for it. Um, so I'm going to instead tell you a story from my life. Uh, when I was nine, I was given a book, this book, by a professor in the UK. And she told me that I should read it because it would help me. Now this professor had been to, had lived a very long time in Israel and she knew about the situation in my country. And she said to me that, she said it would uh, help me and I didn't understand that back then. I mean, how could Harry Potter help me who is in Palestine? Once I got back home, I, I, once I got back home, I um, actually put the book away. And I, because basically I didn't see anybody reading back then, especially not children. Uh, and everybody who saw me reading on the street was making fun of me. And I really didn't get the point of what she told me until the second intifada. When the second intifada happened, for a whole month I was stuck at home. I didn't have any internet back then. There was no mobiles. Uh, I was new in Palestine, so I didn't have many friends, and I couldn't really call them, and uh, I didn't go to school, so I couldn't interact with them uh, in school even. And I was bored. So I decided to look at my bookshelf, and I saw Harry Potter again, this specific book, and I pulled it back out uh, of the bookshelf, and it changed my life. Uh, I couldn't stop reading after then, and books became my window to the world. My world got uh, a much, much bigger, and I could go to places like Madrid, and to London, and to even Mars, and that really helped me later on because although unfortunately I couldn't really go to Mars, I was able to go to a lot of those places that I had read about uh, in the future. And reading actually helped me uh, be there and understand the people there. So, that's why I decided to give back. And Sharing Stories was born. I wanted to give the chance for other Palestinian children to read uh, because children, books, and uh, English are a few of my favorite things. And Sharing Stories incorporates all of them. Children in Palestine find uh, learning English um, very difficult. And this, uh, this affects their performance uh, their educational performance, and the opportunities they get in the future. Sharing stories is simple. We want uh, to help children love the words. We're planning on providing uh, three schools in Hebron, uh, two girls' schools and one boys' school, with 1,000 children books for first and second grade specifically. We had a good first wave of donations, as you can see. 
um, and but we're still not, uh, we still haven't reached our goal. Uh, we're halfway through. And we're depending on you to actually collect the books for us. Uh, it's actually people who are in their communities uh, through their churches and their schools and their libraries who are collecting books for us. We also uh, actually need to, to get the books to Palestine. We need to ship the books, and shipping, as you might all know, is quite expensive. Uh, but even that, I think we can find a way around if people are willing to help. Uh, if any of you know uh, any of the constant pilgrimages to Palestine, I know some of you have been to Palestine through groups. Uh, if any of you know any of them, then uh, if anybody is willing to actually carry a few books for us, it would be helpful because then at least we'd have a few of them. Um, and getting books to kids is a great start. But the other aspect of the project is to actually not let the books to sit on the shelf, but actually use them. So a lot of that has to do with the teachers and actually getting the teachers involved. Uh, and part of what, what the project is to actually train the teachers on storytelling. Now, I, um, I'm a student at Bethlehem University, and we have a big education department that is uh, constantly being developed. And one day I was walking through the corridors of it, and I actually noticed that uh, I started hearing voices, and really weird voices. So I stopped, and it turned out that the students were helping each other tell stories. Uh, and what, apparently it turned out that one of the methods of teaching is actually to read stories to um, children using other voices to make it more fun. So I decided that that was a really great way to um, get the children to interact with the story and to get them to actually enjoy it. So I decided that that must be part of my project. The storytelling uh, uh, trainings for teachers will happen in June and we will be giving the books that we raise in that event. Uh, the project got a grant to get us started from uh, Global uh, Changemakers uh, which is a British Council project and um, but our vision is bigger than that. We want to reach uh, more children every year and more schools and to train more teachers and even parents on how uh, to let the words come alive for children. Our vision is to one day directly connect schools in, Palest uh, schools in Palestine with schools in the UK and the US. Um, we are hoping to collaborate with these schools to actually get them to do book drives and for them to send the books uh, to any Palestinian schools they are twin to. So part of the project is to actually twin schools in Palestine with schools in the US and the UK. Uh, stories, uh, stories like my story and the ability to communicate and create with words truly are that key which opens up a world of opportunities uh, and possibilities. I want to help stories come alive for the children uh, so that they can hold on to the gift of reading for a lifetime. Uh, and you can help. You can send us a book, uh, maybe your favorite book uh, from when you were a child, and uh, because you never know what that one, might, one book might mean uh, in a course of a lifetime for children. Uh, so find us on Facebook, and um, we'll, the website will be soon, so as soon as you can, please join us uh, on making this project possible. Thank you.